Okay, fixing this pull cord takes about 10 minutes. It's eight screws at a quarter or a quarter socket. So if you have a ratchet in a quarter inch socket, you can have this assembled and deassembled uh, in like five, 10 minutes. The hardest part, and you have to have patience, is to wire the cord through the spool. Uh, make sure you put the cord through the cap, the cover, otherwise you're gonna have to redo it. Good luck. I did make another video uh, with a little bit more detail and showing exactly what I did. This showed you everything, but you can see from a better point of view in my other video, I'll link it at the end. Okay, in order to replace the pull cord on your Toro mower, you wanna replace these four screws, which are gonna be a quarter inch. And sometimes there's dirt in these holes, so you wanna take like a screwdriver or a paper clip and scrape it out and then blow that dirt out. Okay, now that I have those screws out with my quarter inch ratchet socket, I'm gonna take the oil cap off so I can get the cover off. There we go. I'm gonna put that back in so no dirt or debris can get in there. Then you wanna remove these four screws. They're around your... Those are also a quarter inch. This one's a little bit tight. Put the ratchet back on. So again, they're just around the top piece here and they're really small screws like that. Then that piece should come right off. And you can see how my rope is in here and it's broken off. So you want to line up that hole with that hole once you spin it. Okay, I wound it up about six or seven times and I stuck a wrench in there. But I'm going to make sure, like I said, that that one hole lines up with your other hole. The hard part will be feeding that in there. That's the hardest part of this whole job. You want to make sure that you cut the end and maybe use a match to make it really tiny because this hole right there is pretty small. Okay, I tried to cut this end kind of like a pencil and then I melted the tip so it's really the finest it can get. So what you want to do first before you try to string it is run this rope through the top of your cover so the pull cord is on the outside. If you don't do that, you're going to have to redo it all. So first put it through this hole. In the cover, if you don't do that, you're gonna have to redo the whole thing. Okay, now that I have it strung through there, you're gonna wind up your wheel about six or seven times, put a wrench in there, and then try to feed this through. Sometimes you wanna bend it a little bit, so once you get in, it'll go through the hole. It's not the easiest thing to do, but this is the hardest part of the whole job. Okay, now that I strung it through, you're gonna to wanna to pull it out and tie a really good knot without much slack hanging off. Whatever kind of slack there's on there, cut it off. Okay, as you see, I have a knot, so I'm going to unspool it or let it wind itself back up. Bring it back over the machine. Line up the holes. Put your screws back in. And then this cord will have a stopper so it doesn't go in anymore. Okay. Once you get those kind of snug in there, you don't want to go too tight because you can strip it out pretty easily. Just make sure it's tight. Then you can put your cover back on. I'm going to pull the oil cap off first. There we go. Put your four screws back in there. And this just kind of loops in there.
Here we go, all that's left is put your four screws in there and your pull cord works. If this video worked for you, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much, bye.